Hello and welcome back to another episode here of Satisfactory uh, with me DCD Gaming uh, over here looking at our coal and rebuilding again uh, if you like my videos don't forget to, forget to hit that like button if you want to see more don't forget that subscribe and uh, let's just get into it so I'm over here I'm going to start this one off by I need to rebuild my coal factory coal power production uh, due to I need to make more space currently I think we're only what, 600 megawatts away from max so I'm gonna replace this one once I have this built that's gonna get torn down people, some people think I'm mad instead of expanding it but I've got a sort of a design here that looks a bit better so if you can see on the right hand side there I have 45 well actually 46 coal generators to build and 17 water extractors and this is what the layout I'm going to do. So, down the middle here, I'm going to have my water extractors all set up. Uh, every second one. So the first one's going to be feeding to the right, second one to the left, third one to the right. I'm going to have a row of generators down this side. And then another row of generators down here. Uh, I think it's 18 in this row, 18 in this. And then they're going to fully use all the normal nodes up there fully overclocked to 270 items per minute and then gonna have a third row of uh, 10 generators over here for the impure node over there up there and that will be a hundred and fifty coal uh, per minute so this is what I'm gonna the layout I'm gonna do I'm feeding I'm gonna feed the pipes in from the back I seen this on reddit the last day it looked really nice I'm just gonna scale this slightly so you can see from up here the pipe layout looked really nice I really like the look of it yeah give me a second so if you look at the pipe it's uh, and how it lays laid out this I think looks fantastic the plan is to have another pipe run up the middle of the next one and so on and so forth right down the full length of 18 generators and I'm gonna feed the coal in from the front like this one here so I'm gonna feed the belt of 270 coal in this side and run it right down the length here and feed it into each generator and then the water pipe uh, basically just gonna have one long pipe and have I think three generators every eight uh, I'm going to see how they fit in when I stagger them here, but that's the plan. I'm just going to turn away and actually just build the whole lot. Uh, there's nothing much to it, I don't know. And I'll show you afterwards in the breakdown on how the coal runs down and all of this. I'm also going to look at independently set up the power network for the, the water extractors. So that they're on an independent network. Uh, I'm going to look at how much power they consume and complete when I've all built and maybe separate up a couple of the coal generators to actually use that power and the three miners upstairs uh, this sort of idea that this it's how standalone networks uh, power and essential items so the likes of these um, do the same down the road when I'm looking at oil power production I'm going to separate the fuel generators on their own that they'll power themselves and their supply uh, have some of them set up that way and then have others set up supply in the network anyways again I said I'm gonna turn away and get this done get it all built get it all finished and I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete wish me luck well it's a nice sight to see at the moment 5.7 gigawatts uh, won't stay long like that for long uh, because the coal I fed into my nice new coal power plant is the coal that supplied the one below so soon this one is below this one down here is going to start shutting off but yes I have my coal power plant up and running uh, I had to make a few changes uh, the layout didn't work at all when I staggered these it was way too long I would have had to spread out way further 
So instead I face, as you can see the coal generator is here, face to face. Uh, water extractors at the back, feeding the pipes and this lovely, I like this curve in the front here. And it just looks nice that it's all nice and level. What I do now is maybe put glass foundations right down the middle. Uh, so I can actually walk down the center of this one. And we'll go down here to the end. So there's 14 in each, or 18 in each of the two rows. We'd supply with 270 coal. That's 15 coal per generator. Then I have 7 extractors per 18. That's excess now. It'll oversupply uh, the system. See it's slowly pulsating. And then the end here is 10 coal generators with four water extractors, one and off 150 coal per minute. So there's the two normal nodes and the one impure node up there is all feeding this at the moment. Bring it down here. I'm just waiting to see when my other generate power plant is going to start shutting off. So what I've done here actually at the moment is I sort of protected the system here. So I divided off all the extractors are all on the old network and they're running off seven coal generators here. So you can see the power for the coal seven here runs off into this network and then the rest have their own network down the middle. And I still have to get my three miners up top level connected to this network. So we'll take a look. This one here has a capacity of 525. You can see this wave in here because this is the water being supplied. And it's consumed once I get the three miners up top connected to that as well, that'll be another egg. They're currently consuming 52 megawatts each. They're overclocked to 250%. There are 235 I have. So the two normal nodes at 250% can supply 300 coal per minute. But I only need 270. But I didn't leave it at 270. I want the system pushing up the, the coal is not the bottleneck for the system here and then the but they're still both all three consume 52 megawatts each because they're overclocked it's 156 megawatts each the is it 18 extractors yeah 18 extractor look at my notes here 18 extractors are consuming 360 megawatts at full tilt so 360 plus 156 is 516 so I have over supplied the line here so the line will never my extractors will never run out and once I connect those three up top my coal will never run out which means all of these generators will always have a supply even if I overload the network uh, it won't cut out the extractors uh, which is the main Thing. I can't let the extractors run out. Con extractors run out. So the last thing I have to do over here is I just have to tidy up down here. I really made a mistake there on that one. I have to replace that and replace those um, to make it look at a bit better. It comes off a bit better, but at the moment it's grand. Not too bad when I fix it up. I have to run up the two separate power lines power upstairs go up here don't follow the water up we go my lovely bell system here oh top page look at all these have to just deconstruct <laughs> all of these belts is that some of the generators turning off already or is it just they're not loading in let me see let me see Get on there. No, they haven't turned off yet. Let's quickly run over and see. I can't jump into that pipe. I've half it disconnected. So I have to jump the whole way over. I wonder if I just jump off here. Can I jump off the edge? Can I jump off the edge? Whoop! Will I make it? Will I make it? Will I make it? Oh! Oh, I've made it. <laughs> 
Come on up out of the water. Can I jump up? Yes, you can. So is the system starved yet? Oh, do I hear stuff shutting down? I do. The coal is not supplying this anymore. Was coal still in them? They'll run out. <laughs> Eventually, these will start. Oh, well, like it's Grant. It's Grant. New power plant. Uh, pushing forward. This one will produce a lot more. There's a bit more for this, so at least then I can proceed. We're starting to unlock look at the next tiers. Look at it, oil. Look at all of that fun. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Head back to the hub, and uh, see you in a second. Well, just as I'm watching, or not watching, but uh, doing fixing up this here. Get rid of those two. I'm watching the power. <laughs> you can see slowly but surely generators over the far side are dropping off. Uh, there's four are gone now. <laughs> slowly but surely, <laughs> as the coal runs out. <laughs> eventually just drop off but I sure like it that's the way it's meant to be I don't mind I keep working away getting all this uh, fixed up here now back up again I must I'll have to build one of these in a nice convenient space Place here also, put some see through it on the top there. Here's my little box built here also. And a glass foundation roof. Oh crap, I have to get in there and put the power in. Uh, oh, I can run the power up the outside of it, actually. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Run the power up here. I have to run up two separate lines. One for... Oh my god, that looks so good from up here. Have to get rid of those things. I have to get rid of the ones out there as well. But it looks so sweet. <laughs> Look at more drop it off. Drop it like flies. Yeah, get in there. I'll have this once I get this tidied up. And I head back to the hub. Get my pipe, the hypertube setup going down as well. Get this all wired up. Head back to the hub and start looking, unlocking. See you back there. So, back at the base, just after disassembling the last of my old coal generators, just noticed here the map. You can see the uh, the factory carts running around here to the different. I stopped. Why is he stopped? Oh, he's moving again. <laughs> I just noticed the size of my base. Like I'm standing here, in the side of it, and then over here is the explorer. But that's just over in, say, in that corner of the building downstairs. But anyways, let's get on. I want to. Start here when I'm here and unlock this, which is the two, three, four, five. Do I have enough? I, I think I have copper sheets. Okay, so stop moving. Wham! Oil unlocked. Oil, reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Caution: This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Minimize the chance of expiration. <laughs> so yes, oil, oil extractor, refinery, and else? What else here unlocked with oil? Oh, I think it's a lot of recipes. Take a look here. Noob, 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 
Nope. 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 So yes, oil's unlocked. But that is for next episode. So oil processing. So refinery and all of these lovely. Ooh. Oil. Not looking forward to that. But still. Well, first of all, I want to start getting the alternate recipes unlocked now that I have something else unlocked. So each time I unlock a new section, I'm going to start looking at hard drives. But as with this episode, my next step is to do some more deconstruction. Ooh, what? Uh, what was that? I went out the wrong. <laughs> I went the wrong one. <laughs> um, I better build. Um, where, 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 where? I better build something on this so that doesn't happen again. Eh. I want to build. Oh, I don't have enough copper. Sh <laughs> Just chuck me out. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I have to do a bit more deconstruction and rebuilding here. But I'm not going to touch the steel. It's actually that the iron. I am going to rebuild my iron. And I'm going to rebuild it using alternate recipes. Well, a lot of alternate recipes that I've unlocked. And I'm going to build some of the system here. So, what I've laid down here already is this floor. So I've cleared it up. Brought the coal in here from below. Looks good. I've brought this around here. I've brought it up from down there, and then I've started to lead out a belt out this direction, here. So what I'm going to do is run my 270 iron ore straight down the throat of this here, bring it around here, smelt it here into iron ingots, and then bring the ingots upstairs to start producing. Because if we... Can I go upstairs here? No, I've taken down everything. We have the place beside where the uh, steel beams, is it? Reinforced steel beams are made to use up that space. Er, er, don't fall off. Yes, go up there. So I have a button of space up here, and plus I can extend this platform out over the other other factory or the other. Motors and stators and rotors production here. I have it all chucked in here um, to help build if I need more space. But the first thing I do is going to jump on over to Anthor's satisfactory calculator and show you what I plan on doing. So here at Anthor's satisfactory calculator, and I have set this up here to produce 10 reinforced iron plates and 9 modular frames. And this is what I'm going to need. You're thinking, that's, a, that's not a lot at all. It's not a lot because I'm using four alternate recipes that I have. First of all is the bolted frame. Uh, the second one then is the iron ingots, the screws. The third one, where are you? Bada 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 bing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Third one is the iron ingots to uh, wire. And the last one then is the stitched iron plate, or the stitched reinforced iron plate. And that uses the, what's the, that's what the wire is for. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to jump on to Anthor's map again. I should have this set up already, but go to production planner. Come on. Interactive map is loading, but I want the prediction player. Ooh, it's all so white. Yes, that's better. So I'm going to. Where are you? Watch the frame. 
So was it nine modular frame? Yes, it was. And we also had the reinforced iron plate. There we go. And that was at ten. Now, so this is normal. Same setup as before. Except for I think at the maximum, yeah, two grounds to two seventy belts. Same. Uh, but there's no alternate recipes in this one. Uh, let's look at the items we need. 336 iron ore. So we've reduced down our use for it down to 267 by using the alternate recipes. Buildings. Now we're not going to look at the merger of the splitters because the system is... I won't be using them that, that, that much. Um, go to buildings. I don't mind the miners because I'm just going to use one. So 10 smelters, 12 for the other one, 19 constructors, 26, 7 assemblers, 11. And it shows you everything. 286 megawatts for this system, 202. So you can see why alternate recipes can come in very, very handy. Uh, and that's why I'm going to use them for my iron factory. So I'm going to jump straight into that, get all that piped off, get the other section all pulled apart and dissected, and move my iron factory for my reinforced iron plates and my modular frames over behind my over at my steel factory. And I'm going to jump, bring you back in when I have uh, making up some progress on that. And some people say, why would I want to make copper from my iron ore? Uh, so you can make setups like this. <laughs> That's why. Uh, so this is all laid out up here. I have on this side here with my screws, my iron plates, and my copper wire, my iron wire out this side. And uh, so got the so iron ingots coming up from two floors down. Let's see without falling off. Yeah, two floors down. Um, straight up here, down the middle, and then separated off onto one side the plates and the screws, and the other side the iron wire, which is great. Great uh, alternate recipe. That's why I love using them. I said they can make a layout a lot more simpler and smaller. Uh, they might use more power, in other words, but so it makes it easier. I find any use. I like using them. Um, so the so the copper wire here and the plates fed into my reinforced iron plates are the stitched reinforced, and then they come out this side, and they're fed in then to the modular frames. So currently, this system can produce nine modular frames and the excess from the assemblers will construct will have a, an excess of 10 reinforced iron plates a minute and that is all nice and pretty I'm just gonna upgrade this yeah and yeah that's okay so yes and here's the modular frames now the next Next thing I have to move on to, I have to actually reorganize all this and get all of this material over there. So I have my in case industrial beams, the modular frames, the reinforced iron plates, the steel beams, the steel pipes, all have to get over here. So that means I'm going to have to create a platform here to carry all of this stuff away. All this stuff over to the base. I think I've counted. All right, so there's three from the steel. There's two from the iron. That's five, and then I have three with the motors, rotors, and stators. So that's eight altogether. And actually, I was thinking one simple system I haven't produced yet is explosives. I was actually thinking about the explosives. So the the what do you call them? I don't have a mummy. 
the explosives. They need steel pipes and sulfur or black powder. So the closest sulfur I have is over there behind. What I might be able to do is maybe siphon off some of the coal to make black powder. Join about sulfur to make black powder. And then send it on over here where I could at some point around here. Play for two hours. Um, <coughs> at some point around here. Actually just build a Nobelisk factory. I don't need a big, just need a small one. I don't need much uh, black powder to come over because you're not going to be burning to that much. Um, I can set it up to produce about oh, a, a 20 a minute or something. Actually, looking at what does it take? It is produced in the assembler. Assembler. Come here. Where are you? There you are. So black powder is produced in here and the noblest. Five black powder and ten that gives three parts per minute. Yeah, if I make three of these, that's forty-five black powder. Actually, do I I don't think I have ninety steel, but I can take a look at this and see what I have up there. Yes, let's see. That's where I need to get set up at the moment because I really need to make sure I have these parts all tidied up and been able to bring all of these items over before I start looking at the next tiers. I want to get this finished before I start looking at the oil. Because when the oil starts, that when the fun starts because then I am producing plastic, rubber, start looking at the AI limiters all of those items then start coming into play because computers will start coming into play heavy modular frames and once I open up the research tier or the crystal oscillators as well I have to look at those I have quartz over there Actually, what does it take Let's see here and I could be building parts so there's a black powder don't even have quick wire set up. Uh, crystal oscillators, so they they use a manufacturer. And they use copper, quartz, and iron. I have iron and copper over there. If I piped over the quartz could look at this over there and uh, maybe it could where is it? there's a noblesse guess this is the one I'm going to be using here uh, 10 and 5 is for 1 see the rubber and the plastic then the circuit board then they're going to be using potentially I could create the factory for these beside What else is there here? Is the AI limiter, copper and keterium. That can be created over there as well with the thing. Again, these, <coughs> these factories are just producing all of the stuff I need at the start. Once I start going into bigger production, once I go into computers and heavy modular frames, I will be setting up completely independent factories for those. They're not small enough. They're too big of an item to be having small little factories dotted around and then assemble them in one factory. Seven, six, five, four. And I'm tipping away at these slowly but surely. Doesn't matter what one I get because I'm just going to re keep researching. But yeah, I'm going to start getting bits together to get all of this transport over. Make space for nine if I'm thinking of putting the noblesse over here as well. And uh, I'm going to get tidied up and I'm going to bring it back in and show you what how I got on. Well I tried and failed in making a single or not single making a yeah 
an individual belt for every item produced and sending it to the main base. Um, it was a mess. It was just belts all over the place. There was no. I wasn't able to keep it tidy and make it look good. So what I've done here is, as you can see, combine them all into one line. And then over here, I have used smart splitters to uh, divide them up into each of the individual uh, parts here, as you see them, and then heading up the wall here. And I'll run over now and just take a quick look. So here, as you can see, all the items passing. Uh, this is an empty one here, use, and Anton Excess is then sent off for a sink that's over there. But these are just set up as in, we'll just face this way. So this is the way that the direction the items are going. Now if you look into it, you'll see the left output is motors, and the center output is anything, basically. Uh, there's no undefined, it just, it's left at random. So that means then when this fills up, so the motors upstairs are actually full. It means motors will pass on. So once this is full, they just keep going and going and going. And straight into the sink. The one outside this is you always have a constant flow. So if I take out some motors upstairs for production or whatever, it means then they'll just be filled up as production happens. And it also keeps production open up over in the factory. And then, as I said, I have the sink over here. So any excess is fed into the sink. Which is pretty simple and it's great so I'll head on upstairs and I'll show you my storage upstairs and how it's in. so there's the belt coming in going over and going up a level and over here to all of these now up the stairs upstairs here you can see I have all my items laid out steel pipes beams encased in uh, steel I never remember these ones here what they're called encased industrial beam okay encased industrial beam of course time Modular frames, first stators and motors. And again, this one here is left empty because I'm going to have this as my dump storage and for my sorting system. So when I come back after a thing, all I can do is store all and it'll all go in there and be sorted between all of the different uh, units. But yes, that's got that up to speed, thank God. And now regards the alternate recipes last one I'm uh, gonna select this and unlock so that's my last alternate recipe in regards for hard drives but I've only eight left only eight hard drives left um, and the next stage then is oil dun 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 <laughs> yes oil production so that's the really fun part but anyways that's it for today I uh, hope you have liked my video. Hit that like. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. We'll see you later. Slan.